All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, busy weekend, man. Busy, fitzy, fitzy. You know, we got election day coming up, man. Also, we have we had a uh, rivalry day this weekend, and the North Side, it's North Side Knights took it, man. Hey, it is what it is. A lot of people was upset. A lot of people said the DF stand for delaying forever. Hey, I'm just telling y'all what the news is, man. This is what people is saying. A lot of people not happy, but I can tell you one thing. It is what it is, man. North City, North Side, nice. They'd have done it, man. But if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all hit the like button, man. Because every like is a vote for Shakedown 22. I'm just joking, man. No, no, no. Every like helps me get into the YouTube algorithm so that we can um so we can move this channel forward and a lot of more people can see what's going on, man. And uh, you know, see the work that we're doing here, man. But uh, other than that, man, let's just get right into the video. Later! Yeah, so I just told her, man, I can't even rock with North Athens like that, man. I only mess with horse. I'm toxic. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I told her, man. But you're the Lito. You won't. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. Star Lito Buttermilk here at the behest of the Vipers City Hall, where I've just voted for the greatest mayor in existence, Shakedown 2012. Let's keep him in office. But if you want to vote someone else, exercise your right to vote. It is your right Come down to any city hall throughout the entire city, whether it's West Side Wildcats, North Side Knights, the, the new champions of Rivalry Day, the uh, East Beast of the East, who will have surely an incumbent since uh since uh, 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 uh what is his name Ticino has stepped down, or the South City Vipers, where we have the greatest mayor shakedown 2012. Come here, vote. You cannot lose because we have my guy. Uh, what is his name? Iport King Carter. He will be next. But if you do not vote, you cannot get one of these little joints above your head. It's your chance to get a logo. If you just come down to the city and vote, you shall be the recipient of a re an election day logo. It's logo day for us all. So once again, come down to the behest of your city hall and vote. Do your due diligence. Starlito Buttermilk. Out. Ah uh, yes, y'all was expecting the other Lido, right? But hey, hey, you know we got it. We we made it right in the end, man. Uh, look, so check it out, bro. Um, we I don't know what we got going on here, man. You've got a uh, you got rivalry day, and uh, as you saw, we we're gonna talk about rivalry day in a second because we're gonna talk about that at the end. But today is election day, and I have a strong inkling that's what that four gig patch was about. I checked a lot of people; they said they didn't touch fades. Nothing seems different. The game seems exactly the same. Same issues. Maybe they snuck some stability stuff in there. They got to get rid of these fades, bro. These fades, they literally make it almost impossible to play defense. If you're playing against anybody who knows halfway what they're doing, you're not going to be able to defend them. And then, God forbid, you run an actual big out there, like, like a, a big big or whatever, bro, it's going to be tough. So, like I said... Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, it's already hard enough to play a true big in this game right now. But with the fades, I mean, it's just, it, it makes the reads way too easy. Like, it's literally, if he gets hit by the screen, if they don't, if they play sides, I throw a lob. If they don't play sides, then I just go, I, I go fade for the screen. Or I, if I go to the big side, I know he can't catch up, so I just sprint and fade. I mean, it, it's in, it's insane. It doesn't resemble real basketball. And a lot of people are gonna say, eh, eh, well, you know, in real basketball. No, listen, man. This is a video game that has to be balanced, number one. Number two, if a person can do that in real life, they practice it for 20 plus years. They didn't create themselves. They're just working with what life gave them. And as such, Get up off the ground, my boy! Get up off the ground! But when you just can create yourself, it's tough. Because when you just can create yourself, you can make yourself do anything that you want to do with no practice. So that has to be balanced in the game. If you've got something in the game, I mean, if they're going to fix it, like I, it doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what we do. They're going to take it out of the game. My bigger concern is why does this find its way into the game every day? single year every single year we have to deal with this type of stuff like if we got to deal with if it ain't the glitches it's the uh if it ain't the glitches it's um the fades if it ain't the fades it's the curry slide if it ain't the curry spam it's something else it's always gonna be something else so like i said 2k we just employ you like we have a game that's pretty much playable if we in the wreck you see us in the wreck we don't care about this stuff you got time to come back in the wreck you have time to do all types of stuff 
But, but when you're playing in the park, you might be playing this right here. You might get down 11 like this, and there's literally nothing that you can do when, when that happens because they're going to just keep trading unless you can get stops or whatever. So I just wanted to throw that out there. It is what it is. Faye's got to be gone, but that's why they have to be gone. And please don't say something asinine in the comment section like, eh, Faze can't be gone because they got a whole badge for that. The badge is not for Faze. Circus threes is for step back threes and things of that nature. That's what interior defense do for you right there. I'm in the area. They just made them smoke it, right? It just is what it is. That's why interior is not overrated on any build that you put it on. But uh, like I said, bro, that, that's all I got to say about that. Up next, man, like I said, it is election day. Um, We had rivalry day yesterday. Oh, we're going to talk about that last. Boom. Election day. Whose spot is in the most trouble as mayor is obviously Ticino because Ticino said yesterday that, um, you know, if, uh, if, if they didn't win, he was going to step down. And because uh, they didn't win, he's already saying that he's going to step down. And, uh, you know, he don't, he's not going to be the mayor anymore. And he did the best job that he could and all that good stuff. He actually put out an actual tweet about it or what have you. And uh, this is what he said right here. He said, congratulations to the Knights. I resigned as mayor. Uh, as mayor, I didn't even get to get any other power whatsoever. Was basically just a logo above my head with no ability to change anything. Couldn't even play Rival Day uh, on my server because everyone got error coded and uh, stuck outside. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I wish that he would have said stuff like this while he was mayor. I am not a big fan of when it's over with, you you become a tell-all book. I don't like that, bro. If you ain't got power from the jump, do like Shay says. Shay says, I really ain't got no power. That's why he's doing the community days. That's why he's doing this stuff like outside of the game and stuff like that. He done told people, bro, I really don't got no power. I can't really do nothing. So I'm gonna do what I can for the community like I always have. Like we know you ain't got no power. I just don't like when people do that. Like after it's over, you wanna be the tell-all book. Just tell it from the jump. I can't do nothing. I'm just a I'm just a figurehead, like the president of the United States, or, or I'm or I'm like the the emperor of China or something like that. I'm just a figurehead. I really have no real power. The people got the power, or what have you. you know the powers that be behind the you know behind me. They who got the power, you know. And I probably shouldn't have said that. They're probably gonna demonetize me for politics. But that's just the truth of it. The the the, the person that's the most visible normally has the least power. You know, it's like the Queen of England or whatever, Parliament and all that. They got all the power. And you just a figurehead. Just like I said, just like the Emperor of China, President of the United States, very limited power. You can't really do nothing. Um, it's, it's you know, it's been a democracy every year, except for like eight years when when uh Obama was in. But anyway, we're not gonna talk about all that stuff. Look, the whole point is this. Like he said, he really had no real power. Shake been telling you he really don't have no real power, all this stuff, and that's just how it goes. So that's where we at with it. Uh up next, man, like I said, you know, Ronnie 2K, he says from right here. Uh, congrats to the Knights and everyone in the in the 2K world uh, for for a fun weekend. I can't, I, bro. I got I gotta go dark mode. I don't know why I do this to myself every time. Will be fun to advance the, the, the. It will be fun to advance the concept after a very successful first event. And the sky is the limit. The mayoral vote is wide open in the morning. Imagine, um, imagine, um, Evan, what's that? Imagine changes are coming. I don't know why he said imagine changes are coming. That, that makes grammatical sense, but I guess it is what it is. It does. And then you see the Knights right here, bro. They said the city only hold 100 people. You see people don't know what the hell they're talking about. That's at least 300 people standing right there. The city's emptied out, and there we go. Everybody was right there. You understand what I'm saying? So you know it is what it is. But as rivalry day goes, like, man, I told y'all, a lot of people said they couldn't get in. They was waiting on Aero Coast. We were taking 15 minutes to get in the games. All that good stuff, man. And like I said, yeah, somebody probably going to say, imagine talking about FaZe when Brute doing You damn right we doing it. People doing it to us. We not about to sit here and just let you beat me in the head and stuff. And we not going to do it. Are you crazy? If you do something to me, I'm going to do it back to you. Like, it just is what it is. That's just how I roll. But, uh, you know, like I said, they said 100 people. You know, with the rivalry day, the way that they did it on third on uh saturday of course of course the uh the uh the, uh, the beast of the east was gonna win that portion by sheer numbers they could go invade everybody's city occupy every court sit on the west side wildcat so you couldn't even play them and just continually beat them unconscious because everybody already know that that's like playing the cages 
and and the and the, uh and you know the beast of the east is like comp stage. That's what everybody was saying. But anyway, so you can go invade every neighborhood, sit on every court, and just beat everybody unconscious, right? And then, but when it comes down to it, and you have to play, uh, when it's head up, it doesn't. Your numbers count for nothing. You got to win the games at that point. You understand what I'm saying? So your numbers count for nothing when you get to that. You, and, and it's just like, it's head on head. So like you waiting 15 minutes for a game, 20 minutes for a game sometimes. If you got 600 people on on uh, Beast of the East, trades up, Green Bean Money Team splash down. If you got 600 people on Beast of the East and you have 300 people on um, Northside Knights and they're playing each other, those 600, there's gonna be 300 people in queue waiting for those other games to finish. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, that, that's just how things go, man. That's how numbers work. So, like, I don't know what was up with the error codes. I don't know what's up with the other stuff like that. But I can tell you that, that that's why games were being waited on because you had more people on this side and then on this side. And, like, at that point, your numbers count for nothing. Your numbers work against you. That's why I was saying it's probably going to have an inverse effect. It's going to be very difficult for uh the beast of the east to win because they just had more people well but at that point the numbers gonna help for nothing but it was winning everything else because it was just sheer numbers but you know it is what it is man like i said uh north side nice one mayor grinding looking good um he's probably the safest one out there i, I checked the thing uh ipod king carter um was was uh the um ipod king carter was leading mayor grinding is up is up right now he's trending He's he's polling very greatly, and uh, you know everything else is just is just uh, is just light work. So um, Mayor shaking, Mayor grinding, even though they lost their joint, they are probably the safest ones. Who you think is the uh, the mayor that's that's, the, that's not gonna make it, man? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, and uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Guys, speak.